Okay, so for part four, we're going to find the time that lacks between Q being released from rest and the combined particle first reaching the highest point of its subsequent motion. There's three parts to this. First, if I'm going to find, uh, find time uh, for Q to hit P. And that'll be a stew for things, it's just falling under gravity. And that distance is 0.4 meters. Time is what I want to find out. So the U it starts from stationary. I don't care what it hits at acceleration because I'm going downwards. I'm taking that to be positive. That's 9.8. That's the one without V. So that would be S equals UT plus a half a T squared. So 0.4 equals 0 plus a half of A is 4.9 T squared. That means that t squared equals 0.08163623 and t equals 0.28571428 and that's the first time. Then, having done that, we need the simple harmonic motion bit. That's when the, the string is uh, it's stretched more than 0 0.6 and I like thinking about this about projection onto the uh, of a circle like so that's going to be 0 0.7 in the middle and it starts off I suppose it starts here it starts at there where the, where the first P is already stationary and that is 0 0.625 meters and obviously the A we know is 0.225 so this will go down to 0.925 and it'll go up to 0.475 but it starts there so the radius of this is 0.225 and this bit here is obviously 0.075 and it's going to go around here then it's going to go all the way around there that's fine and then it's going to go up until it gets to here and that'll be where, where the distance is now up to there. And so that'll be 0 0.6. And at that stage, the string will be uh, slack. And I need, will need to find the velocity at that stage. So I want to find what fraction is of the whole period. So I want to have the fraction of the whole period. So this bit here. Obviously, this part, that's pi, or that's meant to be a pi, there's pi radians from that half bit. I've got this part here, which will be sine to the minus 1 of the opposite over hypotenuse of 0 0.075 over 0 0.225. And this bit here will be 0 0.1. And so the angle there will be sine to the minus 1 of 0 0.1 over uh, 0.225 that's like so and I've got to work out the fraction of the whole period and the whole period we worked out earlier was 2 pi 2 pi over root 98 so what I've got to do I've got to work out sine to minus 1 of 0 0.0 0.075 divided by 0.225 plus pi plus sine to minus 1 of 0.1 divided by 0.225. That's the whole angle I'm going around as I go around a circle all that way there. And I've got to divide that by 2, two pi because that gives me my fraction and then times it by how much the whole period was. So the whole circle would be 2 pi over root 98. So what I have to do is work out the top bit. And so that equals 3.941 uh, I think. Divide it by, well, divide by 2 pi times by 2 pi, I don't need to do that, so I just need to divide by root 98, and that gives 0 0.3982005.
four, seven, two. And that's the second part of the journey. And then finally, I need to do then uh, third part is when string is slack. And I mean, first off, I need to find the velocity uh, when uh, it starts here. So my extension will be 0 0.1. So when x equals 0 0.1, I use the Nax equation. So v squared equals n squared a squared minus x squared. So v squared, that's what I'm trying to find, equals n squared, we know is 98. And then it's 0 0.225, take away 0 0.1 squared. And that says that v squared equals 3.98125. And so v equals 1.995. 306994 and now I need to find a time so that will go into my stuva so s t u v a that will go into as u it's 1.9953 etc a that's going to, is going upwards at this stage so that's going to be positive so a will be minus minus 9.8 don't care about s i want to know the time and it will obviously stop at the top. The one without s, v equals u plus a t. So zero equals the 1.9953, etc. Minus 9.8 t. And so t equals the 1.9953 divided by 9.8, which equals 0 0.20360. Two seven five four, and that's the third part of the journey. And so the total time equals the first part plus the second part plus the third part, and that equals 0 0.88751751 seconds. And that's the last part of question seven on a really pretty challenging M3 paper, and that's done.